So here we are asked to create a two input AND gate, like logical AND at the CMOS transistor level. So the first thing to know is that it is impossible to build a CMOS AND gate as a standalone, but we can use primitive gates, um, specifically in AND and OR, to construct any other logic gate. So our first step is to figure out how to create an AND gate with a uh, inverting gates like in and and not so that's exactly what we do right here we have an in and gate feeding it to inputs a and b um, the output of that is fed into a not gate and the output of this inverter is y equals a and b so let's look at the truth table for in and as you can see it is one when uh the two inputs are zero and it is only low when the two inputs are both 1. Here's the not truth table. It is the opposite of the input. When uh, this input right here is 0, the output is 1. And when it's 1, it's 0. So we use PMOS transistors to pull up a voltage to high because they are better at passing 1s. And NMOS transistors are better at passing 0, so we use them to pull down an output voltage to ground. <coughs> Um, we pretty much have to implement this exactly as the schematic up here shows it. So in two parts, we first have to design an in and gate, and then we have to design a not gate, and we have to connect the output to the input. So I know this looks like a bit of a mess, but I will try and walk you through it. So from the truth table of in and, let's start with that. We need to pull it up to high when either of the inputs or both of the inputs are zero. So as this little note right here says, we will need two PMOS transistors in parallel. Uh, because as you can see, when both of them are zero, we should pull it up to high. Or when either one of them is zero, we should pull it up to high. So we need those in parallel. With CMOS and our pull up and put pull down networks, whatever we do with the PMOS, we need to be equal and opposite with NMOS. So if we have two PMOS transistors in parallel for the pull up part, by the law of conduction complements, we need two NMOS transistors in series to pull down the output voltage to zero or ground um, when both of these inputs are high. So as you can see from the last entry right here in the NAND truth table, we pull the output voltage to zero when both of them are high. So that looks exactly like this. It's a bit of a mess, but I encourage you to redraw it in a cleaner form for yourself and go through the truth table for in and right here. So we have these two PMOS transistors there and there. Uh, they both have VD equals high or one, whatever you want to call it, 3.35 volts, both connected there. Their uh, source and drains are connected and the output is a three-way junction terminal. When either A or B is zero, uh, so like in these two scenarios right here, these transistors will be on. They'll be closed switches. So one or both of them will pull this output Y right here up to VD equals high. Uh, in this case, both of or one of the two NMOS transistors down here will be off, turning down or turning off this pull down network. So it will be irrelevant, and these two PMOS transistors in parallel will pull the output voltage to high. Only here, when both A and B are 1, will both PMOS transistors be off. Both NMOS transistors with a high voltage at the gate will be on, which will pull this at first output Y down here to ground, uh, making it 0 volts as required by the truth table. <coughs> so we have the first step of this, uh, this gate done. We now just need to design a NOT gate and connect it as it's connected up here. So the NOT gate will consist of 1, PMOS transistor and one NMOS transistor in series. The input gate voltage on both of these transistors are shorted together. Uh, the output right here, Y, will be A equals A and B, as shown up there. We have the same high voltage that's on these two parallel PMOS transistors right here on, uh, on our other PMOS. NMOS is connected to ground. Now when Y equals zero, as why is this first output right here is fed to this. This PMOS has a zero. This NMOS has a, a zero. The NMOS will be off because the gate voltage is zero 
So the PMOS will be on. Uh, the PMOS will then pull up, act like a closed switch. It will pull up this output Y equals A and B to one, which is what we want our tr based on our truth table. When this input Y is zero, this output of this gate right here, this not gate will be one. Uh, when this Y coming off of the NN part is one, the PMOS will be on and the NMOS will be off. So this output voltage right here is pulled down to zero, which is again what we want. And the final output, considering both of these gates, is equivalent to Y equals A and B.